Hello, um, welcome to episode three of Bell's Kitchen. I am Bell, and this is my kitchen. I mean, you can't really, all you can see is like a door and the, the boiler and stuff, but I promise this is a kitchen. Um, yeah, I thought we'd make brunch um, this week, <laughs> this month rather, because um, it's, I don't know, seemed like a nice idea. Um, I wanted to make these on stream anyway, and really, you can't make them any other time of day. Um, so for those those who haven't followed, those who aren't aware, we're making cinnamon, French toast, donuts. Now, to alleviate any confusion, they're not actually donuts. They just might as well be by the day. <laughs> you'll, you'll see what I mean when, when they're done. Um, but yeah, this recipe is from this book. I, I, I think it's pronounced Sirocco. I don't think it's Sirocco. I think it's Sirocco or something. Maybe not, who knows. Um, can you hear that banging? That's my infant child trying to get in the kitchen because you can hear me talking. Um, yeah, really lovely book. Um, loads of sort of Middle Eastern inspired stuff, um, but not quite as you'd expect. Um, so yeah, let's 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 flick to. There we go. Right now, interesting thing: the actual recipe is for cardamom donut brioche French toasts. Um, <laughs> I prefer cinnamon to cut. I mean, basically, I realise this stream is turning into like, what, what is Sean going to put vanilla and cinnamon in this week, month, whatever. Um, but here we are again. <laughs> so yeah, basically, all you need if you want to make this. I think some people threaten to actually make this like along with me, which is amazing. And give me a shout if you are doing that. Um, yeah. So you need 100 grams of caster sugar. Um, you need either. Um, your cinnamon, or if you're feeling fancy, uh, you need the seeds from four green cardamom pods. Effort, mate. I'm not interested. Um, and you need to yeah, uh, grind them up in a grind them up in a pestle and mortar. Again, you can be bothered. Uh, two eggs, um, two tablespoons of milk. If I seem somewhat flustered, it's because I just had to run to the shop and get the milk because <laughs> I completely forgot. I just like used the last of it last night and was like, oh, it's fine. I'll just I'll grab some in the morning and then entirely forgot. Um, and then what else have we got? Uh, so we've got an orange, which we will need the zest from. Um, and then where's oh yeah yeah vanilla extract? Yeah, I've already done that. Uh, da, 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 and four slices of brioche. Now, um, I went to Morrison's and I know I've been quite positive about Morrison's on previous episodes. <laughs> Um, I went to Morrison's for the brioche and they let me down because they only had, you need, you need a loaf, yeah, where's the camera, there, you need a loaf of it, um, because it needs to soak up on both sides, um, and all Morrison's had was like buns, like burger buns and like baguettes, um, which is absolutely useless to me, um. So yeah, so I had, to, I, had to, I had to ask my wife to get me Waitrose ones. So there you go, I was a plug for Waitrose this month. <laughs> Did I mention the butter? You need butter, it's just for frying everything in. Um, but yeah, basically, it's actually really easy, this. It's, I mean, I guess you could make it as a dessert. Um, you'd have to be insane, though. Like, you'd have to, it would have to be like the lightest main course possible to follow it with this because it's 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 a lot um right where shall i stick that so that it looks like i'm just doing this naturally and i'm not actually still for it's actually dead easy to make um right heat a large frying pan on a medium heat easy can do that no bother hello shy don't worry about being late mate it's fine you know you, know, you can watch this whenever you want mate it's not a <laughs> Not an obligation, but I appreciate the apology anyway. Um, right, combine the sugar and cardamom powder, cinnamon, uh, in a bowl until evenly blended. So let's do that. I've pre-measured my sugar. Well, I think I've pre-measured it. Um, our scales are absolutely knackered. So, I mean, that looks like a lot more than 100 grams of sugar to me, but whatever, in it goes. <laughs> cinnamon, I, mean, I think I said like two... Um, heaped teaspoons um but i mean we all know how i feel about cinnamon so you just whatever man there you go just chuck a load of that in they got a spoon aren't they 
I've done that thing again where I've got all I've got all the ingredients out and then I've forgotten the things I need to do stuff with. And then once you've evenly combined that, get yourself a plate. Pour it out and then just flatten it. Just give it a little like that, a bit of that. Is this good with jalapenos? Um, I mean, I probably not. I mean, I, I, I can't do jalapenos. I'm an absolute child when it comes to spicy stuff. I'm sure I've mentioned this before. Um, I personally would not put jalapenos in this. Um, oh, we've got a subscriber. Thank you, Zoe SCF. Right, so that's that. Easy. Um, da -da -da. And then we just need a mixing jug. I have a feeling this is actually going to be a really short stream, I think. This is going to be... <laughs> probably should have planned like another another course to go with it um, but as I say these are basically I mean there's probably enough calories in to last you the whole day to be honest um, right where are we da, 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 da. eggs milk orange zest and the, the vanilla well vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract fine um, who's has anyone anyone in the chat actually got vanilla bean paste I've never I mean I love vanilla that's never been a thing we've had in to be honest <laughs> um, Right, let's get it all, let's get a fork. So we need two eggs. Oh, hang on, do you know what? I'm gonna be clever. Gonna be clever, gonna do the milk first. Let's just turn that down a bit. Because then I can actually measure it. How much do I need again? Oh, it's just two tablespoons. Bloody hell. I'm just gonna eyeball it then, I think. I mean, that looks like one tablespoon. That sort of looks like two tablespoons. I'm sure it will be fine. Kept the empty bottle of milk in the fridge. Why did I do that? An absolute waste of effort. <laughs> um, all right, Woodfell. Yeah, I was going to make this too, but the first supermarket I went to didn't have brioche loaf, only those burger buns. Yeah, that's exactly what happened to me. Um, very frustrating. Because I really don't think it would it would work. Um, right, what am I doing? So milk's in, eggs, orange. Yeah, right, eggs. Two eggs. Egg. One. Where are we going? Egg. Two. I mean, how much vanilla extract does it recommend? Okay, hang on. So yeah, one teaspoon of vanilla bean paste, brackets, or use vanilla extract. Does it say how much? No, it doesn't. Forget it. Crack the eggs with one hand. I am not that skilled. I assure you. There you go. How's that? How's that, mate? Right, let's zest an orange. Richard Blackwood style. Have we we've all seen Richard Blackwood trying to zest a lemon, yeah? That's just that's common knowledge. We don't have to go through that. You haven't shy. Oh my god, it's the best thing in the world. He was on some like one of those it was like Saturday Cooks or something. And he um, was tasked with zesting a lemon. And 
and uh, he basically he obviously just doesn't know what that means but he's on national television live trying to not give away that he doesn't know what zesty and lemon is and um and he kind of like cuts it in half and then they're like no just just zest it richard and then he, he cuts it in half and then he tries to like grate like the inside of it um yeah it's amazing um, oh, there you go, Woodfell. I assume that that is the link, Woodfella. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, and it's just one of those things because, it, like, we've all been in that situation where we've been asked to do something and we're clueless and we don't want to admit it. But he's famous and he's on television, so. <laughs> um, yeah, Stig. Uh, yeah, uh, vodka for the vanilla extract. I mean, if you look. Like that, that is, that's just how you make another extract. Obviously, if you're baking something, I think it cooks the, the alcohol out. I think, I mean, I, I have, I don't drink, so I have the tolerance of a child when it comes to alcohol. And I put vanilla extract in everything. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know. Oh, what you're saying? I'm you're saying I'm not technically straight edge because I. <laughs> Turns out I've actually got the tolerance of a fully blown alcoholic. I hate zesty. Richard Blackwood had the right idea. Just pretend you don't know how to do it, and then someone else will just intervene. <laughs> Nearly there. Whoop, Jesus. I reckon that probably do. Of course, half of it just sticks to the bloody. Am I allowed to say bloody? I'm aware this is a. This is meant to be a daytime family friendly stream. I don't think I would mind if my kids started saying it. As long as it's not, you know, F or C words. I'm all right with that. You've got some vanilla vodka. Oh, well, there you go. Just use that then. <laughs> right, is that, that is it, isn't it? Eggs, milk, orange zest, vanilla bean paste or extract. Um, right, let's give it a beating. You're right, Saturday Kitchen wouldn't allow it, would they? Dropping bee bombs. That actually looks a little bit thin. Probably because I put too much milk and vanilla extract in it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go off script. I'm gonna add another egg. There we go. Call the police. See what happens. Yeah, that's more like it. It's supposed to be like a little bit thick. Little bit, it's supposed to be a bit eggy. It's not just supposed to be just like dead runny, you know? Um, right. And then what you do is you just get a little dish. I mean, you can just use like a plate as long as it's got sides on it a little bit. Um, I just use a little baking dish because it's easier. Pour that on. And then, hang on, move that out of the way. 
You got your brioche. Oh, do you know what I'm going to do first? Do you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to get a bit of butter in that pan. Because I need that all nice and melty. I see we're all very shocked in the chat by the extra egg nonsense. I'm sorry. I can only apologise. I mean, it might completely backfire yet, so who knows. Uh, unsalted butter, shall I? That, sorry, I should probably switch to the old... Uh, no, no, I won't yet. I won't switch yet. Because there's nothing actually interesting happening on the hob. It's just some butter melting. So, you get your, your slices of brioche. And you just chuck them in. And let them soak up. The egg and the everything else. The, the recipe says 50 grams of butter. I generally find if I'm doing quite a few of these, I'll go through more butter than that. Just keep sticking it in the pan. Because of course the rule with butter is the more you use, the nicer the thing is at the end. <laughs> That's how it works. Um, you obviously just give them like 30 seconds or whatever. Turn them over. And then let's switch to hob cam. And then you basically, yeah, you get these and you fry them up. I can probably fit more in the pan, I'm going to crack on. Um, where is... This. Hello Colin, how's it going? <laughs> Sam, you joined Twitch for the first time specifically for this. Well, thank you very much. I hope it's not a massive disappointment. Just so you know, it's normally computer games and stuff. This is this is just nonsense. This isn't really what the the platform was built for, to be honest. But obviously, keep them moving a little bit because they can like stick and start to burn. Obviously, the butter should prevent that. It doesn't always. <laughs> I'm probably going to turn that off a bit, you know. See how they look in on the, the underside. Yeah. They should, like, they should brown off quite a bit um, and go quite solid, so obviously that means the egg is actually cooked. Because, personally, don't want salmonella. I know it's not as big a risk in the UK. You're always like, you know, when you see American recipes and they're like, be, be really careful with your eggs, and it's like, no, we have like good food safety standards here, <laughs> so it's not as much of a problem. Um, are these available on delivery? Um, I mean, how much are you willing to pay, Matt? I'll I'll cycle over to your house with them. It'll take me about eight hours. Um, but I'm not saying no. Oh, you had a Portuguese custard tart, a uh, uh, pasta del nato. That's a proper name for them, isn't it? Um, they're incredible. Because when I, someone first gave me one, I was like, what is just a custard tart? What the heck is this? Um, but yeah, no, completely different. Have you ever had one with raspberries in? Because that is... <clears throat> right, let's give these a flip. Wow. So yeah, you see how they've, they've gone like a bit brown. That's what you want to be looking for. <sighs> Shy, that is a that is a I know it's not the real swear word, but that is a form of a swear word. And this and it's only ten to eleven in the morning. We're having brunch. Let's just keep it let's just keep it civil, yeah. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Um Matt, nine ninety nine to cycle to Leeds and back. That is not not enough, I'm afraid. Uh, so fun fact, I actually made these um, for my brother on the day of his wedding because I knew he'd need something really fatty and substantial for breakfast to keep him going because, you know, weddings are like, you don't have lunch until about 4pm for some reason. Um, yeah, went down incredibly well. Um, I've just realised the butter's been like spitting into the sugar. That's a bit weird. Um, 
Okay, and 9.99 for the food, 400 quid for delivery. Yeah, that works. Actually, that'll pay for petrol, so I don't even have to cycle. Audi's looking on the other side. Oh yes, I think we're there. Right, so, obviously these are really hot, so be careful. And what you do is, you bang them in the sugar. <laughs> I've just realized these have just been soaking on one side for the last two years. Good at multitasking, I am. Let's pour some of that egg in. Um, I mean, the quantities in the recipe are only for four slices. However, I, I tend to find it goes a bit further than that. Although I did add, I suppose I did add more egg and sugar and, and milk and eggs and everything. Um, yeah, and basically, you just give them a little roll in the sugar. And they just soak all that up. And then there you go, there is one... One slice. Where is it? Where's the camera? Here we go. I'll just chuck that on a plate over there. I mean, that is definitely more sugar than I needed as well because, I mean, I've got absolutely loads of it. But of course, it's only cinnamon and sugar, so if you have too much, just like. Just, I don't know, stick it in a Tupperware box and use it the next day and then the next day and just have the most unhealthy breakfast of your life every day forever. All right, how are these looking? You good? Oh, that is like falling apart. I've probably got too much egg mix in those. <laughs> I mean, this is why it's brunch, right? It's supposed to be... It's, it's supposed to be two meals in one go, that's why it's, <laughs> That's why it justifies being so completely unhealthy. Um, uh, steak, you could, so the, the recipe is actually to use cardamom instead of cinnamon. Um, but I prefer cinnamon, so... Deal with it. Oops. Ah, you see how that's gone like quite black? That usually means put more butter in. The butter stops it, stops it like just getting burnt on the outside before the egg's actually cooked. Um, oh yeah, nutmeg would work. Oh, Woodfella, you could actually have bacon with these, couldn't you? Don't mention that. I think we've had, have we got... No. No, I thought we had bacon, but we don't. Probably just as well. I may as well get some more soaking. Sod it. tub of ice cream. I mean, obviously, actually, I mean, you could just chuck ice cream on them, couldn't you? You could. I'm just saying you could. Okay. <laughs> Do a go to the shops camp. Man, if I, if I could, if I could just take my phone and just continue the stream seamlessly, that would be amazing. I'm still trying to think if there's a solution for like me taking this to the dining room and sitting and eating with, with you guys. But I don't, I don't think there's like a good solution. Oh yeah, Matt, could I stream from my phone directly to Streamlabs and then do it? <laughs> <laughs> FPS on shopping stream. Um, I was going to say it's a bit inappropriate to call it an FPS, but then I suppose the S could just stand for shopping, so it's fine. <laughs> I don't want to be that guy walking around the supermarket with a... A GoPro on my forehead though. Right, let's get this guy rolled up. Oh, and turn them over as well. Oh, that is that is quite burnt, that one. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, 
one looks okay. Right, let's get these suckers in. Oh yeah, you can stream from the Streamlabs app, but is there a way of making that seamlessly... Like, so if I was in the middle of this stream, I couldn't just start it on my phone and it would just transition, right? Does that, I, don't, I don't think you can do that. Um, as long as you're not licking the ice cream, it's fine. I mean, <laughs> given the requests I get in the chat, for this stream, that's not not entirely unlikely. Do you know what? I'm gonna go for one more. I think I've got enough enough egg mix. Um, yeah, I think you're right, Matt. I'll stop this one, then start on the phone. But there's no reason. Like, oh, could I? Do? No, that'd be too weird doing a shopping stream. Maybe if I went like really late at night when there was no one around. <laughs> Maybe that would work. Um, oh, sure, yeah, just say you're a cyclist if anyone gives you a funny look. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, maybe I'll just, I'll just, I'll, my dad's a big cyclist. If I get a load of his cycling gear and just, just don that, and then I'll just, yeah, I'll just wear the camera on my helmet and just be like, uh, you know, it's 11 o'clock at night. Um, <laughs> Get to shops, you need time to kill time. Oh, you're going to digitize alive? Is that today? Do you know what? I'm just going to shut this guy in. Today, Sean. Otherwise, you wouldn't. Yeah. Okay. No. I mean, you know, I just, I was just surprised to learn it. That's all, Colin. That's all I'm saying. Right. Get him. Get him rolled. That's one. I'm going. I'm, I'm going to use just a little bit more butter because he's suffering without. The only thing with this is you have to wash your hands about 10 million times because every time you pick up one of these you get all egg on your fingers and then every time you do this bit you get all sugar on them. I mean I should just let go shouldn't I? I should just leave it. Like, yeah, do you know what? Hands dirty. Get raw egg everywhere who cares. <laughs> it's fine. We'll eat one of these in a minute. I'll just do. You want to use one hand for dry stuff and one for wet? I mean, probably, yeah. Um, what was the the old, was the, <laughs> uh, the old fashioned thing? You have your, your your godly hand and your normal hand, and the godly one is only for clean things, and the other one is for wiping your bum and picking your nose and stuff. Um, have we got plans today, Colin? Uh, not really, no. Um, wife's off to work in a bit, and I've got the kid. I mean, we've already been swimming. Um, so, am I allowed to just sit around watching films with him? Maybe. <laughs> probably not. Should probably like get him out. But then it's also raining, and it was raining all day yesterday. Um, don't know. Don't know. I mean, there's always there's always the soft play. 
Um, but then they're always, especially like it's Saturday and it's raining. So, do you know what I mean? The soft play is just going to be a nightmare. It's just going to be loads of shrieking. Right. Let's get that off. Wash my hands again. Why am I washing my hands? I'm about to pick one of these up and eat them. I, mean, I suppose I could use a knife and fork. That's probably... I've been swimming and on a cooking stream, that's more than me most Saturdays. Mate, we've got a thing tonight as well. We've got to record the um, computer game show talks over the it's one of the old, it's the, the infamous Sony one from like 2012 or whatever, I can't remember now. Um, the one with the, the crab and that. Yeah, everyone remembers the crab, the giant enemy crab. Um, so yeah, as I say, I've got, hang on, let's, let's, don't need to see the hob anymore, do you? Got absolutely loads of that sugar left. I'll just stick that in a container. Um, and then that'll be that. Basically, I'll just keep that in a container and then may, maybe make these again tomorrow. I've still got three slices of brioche there. Um, but yeah. Um, so I always wonder if you work in a soft place center where your ears adjust to the noise. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It's like maybe it's maybe they just wear earplugs. Um, so I should probably actually show you the the food, shouldn't I? Here we go. Look, there's a big old pile of them. I mean, obviously don't serve it like that. It's barbaric. Um, but I will get a knife and fork. Well, fork. Because let's not be animals. You want me? To, you want me to eat the whole lot, Matt? I would, but. Who's in the next room and she's waiting for these, so she would kill me. Um, right, hang on, let's just get one. Let's just have a bit. So basically, yeah, so it's French toast, but with all the sugar on it and and <laughs> and, um, and, and orange and cinnamon and they're absolutely amazing. They are bet like when you eat one, you're like, oh, this, this could just be a donut. Um, yeah, absolutely stunning and pretty easy to make. I don't know if any of you have ever tried to make actual donuts. It's amazing when you make your own, but it's an absolute nightmare because you have to let them prove twice. Um, so like I could never do them on this stream because it'd be like, right, I've done that first bit. Now let's kill an hour before we can carry on. And then again, it's just a yeah, nightmare. It was easy, pretty easy. I've made them in what? Half an hour. Not too bad, is it? I'm, gonna, I'm just going to eat some more. Just going to eat some more. You guys, you guys talk amongst yourselves. I'm going <laughs> to. Um, I don't know what I'm going to make next month. I've not thought about it. Um, not, I have no ideas whatsoever. I think I will try and stick to Sunday evening. No, yeah, Sunday evening. Just before Matt does his. Because... Um, that seemed to work really well. And, like, and we called this a brunch special, but actually we haven't really got like a set time. So it just <laughs> it's just been all over the shop. Um, oh, Sunday dinner would be good. I'm really good at doing roast potatoes. So maybe that's a, that's a thing. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is, this is it, mate. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna eat these. And then, well, I'm gonna actually get several plates and plate them up and yeah. What's the texture like? Crunchy like fried bread, basically, yeah. But really, like, even more sort of sweet. It's sort of sweet and fattier, but without... You know, like, fried bread, you can only eat, like, a few pieces, and then you start feeling a bit a bit ill. Um, and, yeah, it's not like that. Like, you can just eat far too many of these. <laughs> um, Christmas Day special. I mean, no... Um, but that is quite funny. <laughs> I mean, God help anyone who actually has time to watch a, a stream on Christmas Day. What happens when you go on Twitch on Christmas Day? Obviously, there will be there'll be people streaming. That'd be a thing. Um, but then I, I can't even bring myself to like pay like go out for Christmas dinner because the idea of there being other people who've just got nothing else on and might as well work makes me sad. Um, so yeah. <laughs> right, I'm gonna go because my wife's waiting for these. Um, 
But thanks very much for watching. Um, obviously, if you're not aware, um, this is made possible by the Computer Game Show Patreon, which you can find at the, uh, I said the Computer Game Show. Patreon.com forward slash TCGS. Um, yeah, I really appreciate everyone's support. And obviously, part of like the money I get goes towards buying all the ingredients and the faff of like setting up three webcams in my kitchen <laughs> and, and all the rest of it. Um, so yeah, massively appreciated. And obviously, yeah, it'd give, you know, if you can give us a sub with Twitch Prime, that is also amazing. Um, so yeah, thanks very much. And I'll see you in about a month or thereabouts. Um, yeah, enjoy the rest of your weekend. Cheerio.